you can see here at the back of me we have placed our reinforcement bars and now we are pouring concrete the total length on this side is 13.5 and on the other side we have a total length of 15 meters and we have the wing walls on either sides of the culvert The projection of the wing wall is maintained at 5 meters on either sides. The projection of this apron is 4 meters and then we are also placing the reinforcement bars of the tow beam. You may see that the reinforcement bars are being placed. We are using the double mat. For both bottom and top mats we are using Y12mm bars. We had already placed the starter bars and then now we are connecting those bars together with the reinforcement bars we always have to do the overlapping of reinforcement bars for this purpose and overlapping of 0.5 meters can be considered as we have done here dimension of two beam is 0.25 by 0.35 meters the depth is 0.35 and the width is 0.25 concrete cover of 5 cm is provided also making it 30 by 40 cm this is the inlet of the culvert from center to center we have kept the spacing of 15 centimeters or 0.15 meter horse benches had also been placed in order to keep space between top and bottom mat after placing the enforcement bars you can see that we are spraying water after this we are going to pour concrete you can also see that we had placed the enforcement bars for the wing walls once we are done with the casting of concrete in the apron, we shall continue with the reinforcement placement of our wing walls. So after the placement of reinforcement bars, you can see we have started pouring concrete. Guys, this is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. Goodbye.